magandang araw muli sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ray dito sa Math Teacher Studio upang maghatid kuli ng panibagong aralin sa Mathematics 5. Kaya naman, huwag na natin tong patagalin pa. Okay, ang ating tatalakayin ay divide decimals with up to two decimal places. At narito ang unang kategory. Divide decimal number by one decimal place. Now, find the quotient of 85 and 25 hundreds divided by 5 tenths. So, ang dividend natin ay 85 and 25 hundreds at ang ating divisor ay 5 tenths. Gawin natin ang unang step. Move the decimal point in the divisor to the right until it is a whole number. So, narito ang ating divisor. I-move natin ang decimal point niya to the right para ito ay maging whole number. Second step, move the decimal point in the dividend to the right by the same number of places as the decimal point was moved to make the divisor a whole number. So, i-move natin ng isang beses din ang decimal point dito kagaya ng pag-move natin ng isang beses ng decimal point ng ating divisor. Kaya ang ating dividend ay 852 and 5 tenths. At ang ating pangatong step, divide the new dividend by the new divisor. Let us divide 852 and 5 tenths divided by 5. Then place a decimal point in the quotient directly above where the decimal point appears in the dividend. So, yung decimal point natin ay nakatapat doon mismo sa decimal point ng ating dividend. At tayo ngayon ay mag-divide. So, 8 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Then, 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then, subtract 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Then, bring down 5. 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. Then 7 times 5 is equal to 35. Then let us subtract. 35 minus 35 is 0. So, wag na natin ilagay. So, bring down 2. Then, 2 divided by 5 is equal to, uh, cannot be, so 0. So, 0 times 5 is equal to 0. Then, 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. Then, bring down 5. Then 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Then 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then subtract, the difference is 0. Okay? Okay, so isunod natin ang uh, find the quotient of 3 and 15 hundreds divided by 3 tenths. So, isulat natin ang ating division sentence vertically. And, uh, i-move natin ang decimal point ng ating uh, divisor ng isang beses. So, ang ating divisor ngayon ay 3. I-move din natin ang decimal point ng ating uh, dividend ng isang beses na kagaya sa ating divisor. So, ang ating uh, dividend ngayon ay 31 and 5 tenths. Gagamitin naman natin ito sa division. So, 31 and 5 tenths divided by 3. Para di tayo malito, ilagay na natin ang ating decimal point sa taas bago tayo mag-divide. Then, let us divide 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 1 times 3, 3. Then, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Huwag na natin ilagay. Ibaba na natin ang 1. 1 divided by 3 cannot be. So, maglagay tayo ng 0 sa taas. Then, 0 sa baba ng 1. Then, isubtract natin. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Then, bring down 5. Then, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Then, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And, 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay? Next example, find the quotient of 86 hundreds divided by 2 tenths. So, 
So, isulat natin ng ganito. I-move natin ang decimal point ng ating divisor ng isang beses papunta sa kanan. So, ngayon, ang ating uh, di divisor ay 2. I-move din natin ang decimal point ng ating dividend ng isang beses. Kaya ito ay naging 8 and 6 tenths. Ngayon, i-divide natin. 8 and 6 tenths divided by 2. Yung decimal point muna, para hindi tayo malito. Then, let us divide 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then, let us subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Huwag na natin ilagay. Bring down 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then, subtract. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Dito naman tayo sa next category. Divide decimal number by 2 decimal places. So, find the quotient of 18 thousands divided by 8 hundreds. So, first step, move the decimal point in the divisor to the right until it is a whole number. So, ang ating divisor ay uh, i-move natin ang decimal point ng dalawang beses papunta sa kanan para ito ay maging full number. Pangalawang step, move the decimal point in the dividend to the right by the same number of places as the decimal point was moved to make the divisor a whole number. So, yung 18,000, i-move natin ang decimal point niya dalawang beses din papunta sa kanan. At ang ating dividend ngayon ay 1 and 8 tenths. Step 3, divide the new dividend by the new divisor. 1 and 8 tenths divided by 8. Then, huwag kalimutan, ilagay na natin ang ating decimal point sa tapat ng decimal point sa ating dividend. Then, let us divide. So, 18 divided by 8 is equal to 2. So, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, let us subtract 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. Dito, hindi tayo pwedeng huminto dahil hindi pa zero ang difference nito. Anong gagawin natin? Magdagdag tayo ng zero sa ating dividend. Okay? And then, ibababa natin. Then, ituloy lang natin ang division. So, 20 divided by 8 is equal to 2. Then, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, let us subtract. 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. So, 4 pa rin, hindi pa rin 0. So, magdagdag pa tayo ng isang pang 0 sa ating dividend at ibababa natin. Then, ituloy ulit natin ang division. So, 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. Then, let us multiply 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Then, let us subtract 40 minus 40. The difference is 0. So, sa kasong ito, uh, magdagdag tayo ng magdagdag ng zero sa ating dividend hanggat makakakuha tayo ng zero as the difference. Then, uh, next example, find the quotient of 97 and 5 tenths divided by 3 hundreds. So, isulat natin ang ating uh, division. I-move natin ang decimal point ng ating uh, divisor ng dalawang beses. Para ito ay maging whole number at ang ating divisor ngayon ay 3. I-move din natin ang decimal point ng ating dividend ng dalawang beses din. Ngayon, nawalan tayo ng isang digit, dadagdagan natin yan ng 0. Kaya, 9,750 na siya. Then, third step, i-divide na natin. So, 9,750 divided by 3. Wala tayong decimal point kasi nasa dulo na siya. Okay? Pwede natin huwag nang ilagay kung nasa dulo ang decimal point. Pero kung kinakailangan natin maglagay, pwede tayong maglagay. Now, i-divide na natin. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, let us subtract 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Huwag na natin ilagay. Bring down 7. 7 divided by 3. 2, so 2 times 3, 6. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. Bring down 5, 
15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Then subtract 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Then bring down 0. Dahil ibinaba natin ang 0, ilalagay ngayon natin doon sa taas. Okay? Decimal point. Okay, next example is find the quotient of 7 and 46 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. So, isulat natin ng ganito. Then, let us move the decimal point to step to the right, both the dividend and the divisor. So, i-move natin ng dalawang beses ang ating decimal point. Ang ating divisor ngayon ay 4. Ganun din ang ating dividend, dalawang beses papunta sa kanan at lalabas ngayon ay 746. At ito ngayon ang gagamitin natin sa division. Let us divide. 746 divided by 4. And then, yung decimal point natin, para hindi tayo malito. Then let us divide. 7 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4. 3. F4. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Then, bring down 4. Then, 34 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 4, 32. Then, let us subtract. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Then, bring down 6. 26 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Then, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Then, let us subtract. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Okay? So, 2 ay hindi pwedeng i-divide sa 4. Magdagdag tayo ngayon ng 0 sa dulo ng dividend. Ibababa natin ito. Then, ituloy lang natin ang division. So, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Then, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And the difference is 0. Okay? Next. Divide whole number by decimal number and vice versa. Ito ang unang example. Find the quotient of 729 divided by 9 tenths. Sulat natin ang ating division sentence. So, i-move natin ng one step to the right, both the dividend and the divisor. I-move natin ang decimal point ng isa, papunta sa kanan. Ngayon, 9 na ang ating divisor. Ganun din ang ating uh, whole number. So, ang whole number natin, ang ating uh, uh, decimal point ay automatic. Nasa dulo siya. I-move natin ito ng isa. Dahil walang number, magdagdag tayo ng 0. Ang ating dividend ngayon ay 7,290. Then, let us divide. 7,290 divided by 9. So, 9 o 7 divided by 9 cannot be. So, kunin natin yung dalawa. 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Then, let us subtract. 72 minus 72 is equal to 0. Bring down 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. So, 1 times 9 is equal to 9. Then, subtract 9 minus minus 0. Bring down 0. Dahil ibinaba mo yung 0, ilalagay mo ngayon sa taas. Okay? Okay, next example, find the quotient of 71 and 28 hundreds divided by 54. So, isulat natin ang ating uh, division sentence. Ang ating divisor ay uh, already whole number. So, walang decimal point na ililipat sa kanan. So, in this case, the divisor already a whole number. So, we divide as it is. So, mag-proceed na tayo sa division. So, 71 and 28 hundreds divided by 54. So, let us divide. 71 divided by 54. Pero, ang ating decimal point, huwag natin nakalimutan una. Okay? So, 71 divided by 54 is equal to 1. 1 times 54 is 54. Then, 71 minus 54 is equal to 17. Then, bring down 2. 172 divided by 54 
is equal to 3. Then 3 times 54 is equal to 162. Then let us subtract. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Then 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. Then bring down 8. 108 divided by 54 is equal to 2. Then 2 times 54 is equal to 108. Then 108 minus 108 is equal to Diyan na naman ang katapos ang uh, ating talakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Ray, nag ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam!